We're moving on now to look at how we can uh, analyze and write an answer when the visual data is presented as a table. Once more, we'll be following the same procedure. And here is the table we're going to be looking at. Uh, the question reads, the table below shows the monthly expenditure of an average Australian family in 1991 and 2001. So, things to note in the table are the different categories down the side and also the total at the bottom. They are the, uh, the ex items of expenditure or outgoings. We've got the left column which is 1991 and the right column which is 2001. We've also noticed there's also a star um, which indicates here that that category has extra information and that the other goods and services are non-essential goods and services. So that would include um, things that you spend on for leisure and entertainment and things that are not essential such as food, water and so on which are essential. So we need to pick out the key features from this table and remember we have to pick out uh, key features which um, show the purpose of the chart and the purpose of this table is to compare the expenditure from the two years so it's not too complicated here and I've picked out that overall monthly expenditure has increased modestly so yeah, you can see the increase from 675 to 715. Um, uh, spending on electricity and water increased significantly. That's the one that increased the most. And spending on clothes and transport dropped markedly. So uh, there you can see clothing expenditure dropped from 30 to 20. So that's a 33 and a third percent drop. And uh, spending on transport uh, also dropped considerably as well. So I've picked those two out um, to represent items that decreased in expenditure. Um, so we'll use these for our overall overview paragraph. But first we need to write the opening introductory sentence and here I've transformed the original opening statement to the following. The table presents the outgoings of a typical Australian family on a monthly basis in the years of 1991 and 2001. So uh, rather than below I've put presents, um, rather than uh, expenditure I've used outgoings, rather than average I've used typical um, and I've put monthly in a different place in the sentence um, just to vary it and show that I have good control of grammar as well. Um, so that's the introductory sentence done again just by using direct synonyms. Now we need to go back to our key features that we've already selected and form our overview paragraph and I've done that by starting with the word overall again so the examiner is clear that this is the overview paragraph and it reads overall the total average expenditure rose modestly and the biggest contributor to that increase was the rising costs of electricity and water some forms of spending did decrease however such as spending on clothes and transport Note once more that there are no numbers, facts or figures in here. We're just giving the bigger picture idea of the changes from between 1991 and 2001. And finally, as ever, we're going to write our details paragraphs. Now, as normal, we're going to write two details paragraphs. 
and it makes sense therefore to write one paragraph about um, items that have increased in expenditure and the second paragraph about items that have decreased in expenditure. So we've grouped the data together logically into two groups so we can write two separate paragraphs uh, in a logical fashion. So we'll start with uh, the expenditure that increased first and this paragraph reads expenditure on electricity and water leapt from $75 to $125 per month by far the largest increase with both food and housing increasing by a mere $5 in comparison. Another cause for the overall increase was the other category which rose by $20. This category includes money spent on non-essential goods and services such as gym membership. Conversely, spending on transport fell dramatically from $70 to $45, whereas there was only a $10 reduction in spending on clothing. The total value of average outgoings experienced net growth from $675 to $715 per month. Okay, so uh, once more we've simply added facts and figures from the, from the table and we've also managed to include comparisons uh, where, uh, where relevant and where it feels appropriate to do so. Um, for example, the first of those paragraphs starts with by far the largest increase with both food and housing increasing by a mere five dollars in comparison so um, i've put comparisons in where it's appropriate however i want to look at complex sentences in these paragraphs students often get worried when they hear the word complex sentences um, however complex sentences doesn't mean it has to be complicated um, as you'll see we've got three examples here of complex sentences which aren't particularly complicated at all so the first one is highlighted here and reads some forms of spending did decrease so on its own that would be a correct sentence on its own um, however such as spending on clothes and transport um, so we've added some extra information to that first clause um, very simply just by using however and such as uh, and that makes it into a complex sentence that's something you would probably do yourself uh, naturally and if not it's something you can do to create a complex sentence another example is uh, the first line of the third paragraph uh, where it says expenditure on electricity and water leapt from $75 to $125 per month by far the largest increase um, so again I've added some extra information to that sentence um, by using the preposition by um, so uh, I've added a, a subordinate clause essentially um, the first part of the sentence would make sense on its own up until month I could put a full stop after month and that would be a correct sentence however I wanted to add some extra information to it so I've done that by using a comma and then by to add an extra clause of information and that, make, that has made it into a complex sentence another one um, is in the last paragraph where I've used whereas so conversely, spending on transport fell dramatically from $70 to $45, whereas there was only a $10 reduction in spending on clothing. This is a similar thing again. I've just added uh, another clause um, uh, using whereas to join the two clauses together. Um, so these are examples of complex sentences so they're not things, complex sentences are not things you need to deliberately go out and try and add into your writing. Um, you will be naturally doing it anyway. 
Um, if you look at those sentences there, they're not particularly complicated. If you're using words like however, whereas, um, you're, you're naturally creating these sentences for yourself anyway. So don't worry too much about deliberately trying to make complex sentences. Um, just focus on making the grammar and punctuation as accurate as possible. Okay, that concludes the uh, lesson on tables.